Vice President Jeju Marbine returns to Pangasinan, the third most vote-rich province in the country, amid reports that a close political ally will soon bolt the United Nationalist Alliance. In Pangasinan, the UNA standard bearer evades questions about Cavite Governor John Vic Remulia allegedly leaving his campaign team. John Vic is currently Binay's advisor on domestic and political policy. John Vic's brother Boying, a gubernatorial bet in Cavite, told Rappler that John Vic wants his peace before the campaign takes its toll on him. But this does not necessarily mean John Vic is leaving Binay for another candidate. Bakit naman ang conclusion, once his peace, gusto magpahinga ng tao, napapagod sa akin eh. Kaya hindi na nga ng kandidato, napahagod na siguro ng kakakal niya. Pero kamusta po relationship niya sir with Kong Boying and Gov. John Vic po? Binay is an adopted member of John Vick's local party, Partido Magdalo. Is their partnership still intact? Working sa spekulasyon yun, mag-ihiwalay kami. Hindi pag sinagot kita na hindi na intact, eh dito ko pala, mag-ihiwalay na kami. So is it, is it? Wala naman ang basis yung mga tanong yun. If the Remulias pull out their support for Binay, they will be the second political family from a vote-rich province to do so. The Garcias of Cebu broke away from Binay in March to support current poll frontrunner Davao May Rodrigo Duterte instead. Binay's chances in Pangasinan remain unclear too. The province is considered to be Senator Grace Poe's bailiwick because her father, the late action star Fernando Poe Jr., is from San Carlos City. Binay is allied with Pangasinan 5th District Representative Mark Cuanco, who is running for governor against Amado Espino III. Espino's Partido ng Pangasinan supports Liberal Party standard bearer Mar Rojas, who beat Binay for the vice presidency in the province in 2010 by 76,000 votes. Binay is in faith, saying the best survey is the elections itself. The vice president is confident that his core supporters will back him on election day. They say in politics there are no common friends or enemies, just common interests. As May 9 approaches, can Binay keep the allies he need to propel him to the presidency? Mara Cepeda, Rappler, Pangasinan.